Hey everybody, Justin Perry here with a video review of R.L. Allen's New American Standard single column reference in blue goat skin. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this Bible. It's uh, very beautifully constructed. The blue goat skin cover was from Allen's England bindery rather than the one in Holland that they often use called Youngblood. Uh, the ones that are from their London bindery have a, a pretty unique look. Uh, you'll notice that there's a very wide yap. That's what this wide overhang is called. You'll also notice that the grain of the goat skin, if I can get a good shot at it, has very deep ridges all the way through. Uh, it's a lot different than the goat skin from the Holland bindery which is more of a consistent pebble grain um, I personally really love the look of the leathers from their London bindery it's just uh, very beautiful and uh, I really like the old world look you can see also you have three red ribbon markers and from just about any angle the blue under gold art gilt really shines through it's just a really great looking Bible. If we open it up here, you'll see that it is leather lined and it's actually a black leather. You've got a gold gilt line all the way around the perimeter. You also have a glued perimeter, which is typical of all Allen Bibles, I believe, but they do a really great job. Even though it's not stitched, it's really well done and uh, even if they do start to come unglued, you can buy a good quality glue that works on leather like Goop Glue and make very easy repairs. You've got a blue end page there. It goes great with the color of the cover. And then, of course, as we open it up, you really see that blue art gilt coming through. Now, you'll notice this is a single column verse by verse reference Bible. It's a large print, uh, excellent size print. Uh, this is the same typesetting as Lockman's single column reference Bible. This is just a higher quality production. Uh, this is actually the third printing of Allen's New American Standard single column reference, uh, which fixed a problem with crinkling in the gutter uh, and it also has a different paper. It's a 32 GSM paper. Uh, Ian Metcalf explained to me that uh, this paper is better than the first and second printings, uh, but he did say it's still not as uh, fine of a paper as they get whenever they go with their Holland uh, bindery and printer. Um, so the verse-by-verse -verse format it's pretty cool, especially if you could use a Bible this big for preaching or teaching. Uh, it's easy to find the verses. Uh, the fact that it's single column actually makes reading uh, more of a pleasure. Your eyes don't have to work as hard going back and forth between those narrow columns. Um, and so some people really like this format a lot. Uh, one of the things that you will notice, if we can zoom in close enough here, is that there is quite a bit of bleed through in the pages. Some pages it really sticks out, some pages it doesn't. Um, and since there's no line matching, or there's very rarely line matching, there are some places where uh, that has been pretty obvious to me and a little bit of a distraction. Um, I have several other single column Bibles which either have a more opaque paper or which have line matching and where the bleed through doesn't bother me as bad. Uh, but with this one, it's pretty noticeable to me personally. Um, I do like the format, although I think paragraph format is better for reading just because, you know, if you look at a sentence like verse 16 here, you lose a very large portion of the line just because the sentence wasn't long enough to fill up that entire line. So with paragraph format for reading, you can actually uh, have a thinner Bible with better paper. Uh, and again, your eyes don't have to work as hard because they just flow like they would in any other book. 
Um, overall, it's a really beautiful Bible. If you like the Lockman single column reference, then you'll absolutely love this Bible. Uh, I personally would prefer, I think, a paragraph format and something either with line ma matching or better paper. Um, and for that reason, I actually, thanks to Bible Exchange, am going to trade this beautiful Bible for a blue uh, New American Standard Schuyler Quintel, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, again, it's a great Bible, but a few things that just weren't absolutely my preference. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. Please check out my blog at gloriousnuances.wordpress.com, and I'll talk to you later.